How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of RimWorld. Hope you guys have been enjoying the series so far. If you guys have, you guys don't do, smash those li that like button. I was going to say those like buttons, but there's technically only one. Smash the like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Turn the little bell notification on so you don't miss out on any future episodes of anything. And as always, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave those down below. And with all of that out of the way, let's get into today's episode. So at the end of last episode, Four Eyes had just uh, briefly survived... Uh, an excursion, but it looks like everything's healed up with just a minor things. Um, we are going to probably want to get a daycare for Rudolph, and then once Horn has her baby, because she's, yeah, she's in the third trimester. Is Horn the one? Yeah, Horn is sleeping with Junie. But I think for now, Horn will eventually just go to this room temporarily. Um... You know what? Let's actually just move their bed. Let's reinstall it here. Let's reinstall this. Uh, let's say there. The only thing I don't like is I can't place this there until this is moved. Um, and then we're gonna reinstall it there. So we're gonna move. We're gonna move the bed here, and what we'll do is we'll put the double bed in into this nursery. Um, we are gonna want a proper daycare, I think, for the smaller children. Is this a dead prisoner? Huh. Apparently, he died at some point. Well, I guess there goes our uh, fire abilities. That's nice. All right. Uh, can somebody who's not whatever you whenever you're finished doing that. Could we maybe bury this person? That'd be great. Awesome. Okay. I want to focus on trying to get a proper barracks made. Uh, just due to how we've had things. And by barracks, I mean prison. We could put it here. That'd be terrible. Yeah. Uh, I like that idea. Let's go, let's go ahead and plan something out. So, I want slate walls. So let's say from here to here, and then how big do I want the cells? Normally I just do a like that. And then ooh, tiny passageway. Cancel. Yeah, that shouldn't be a too bad. There we go. And then let's go. Let's get some steel doors. How much more health does steel doors have? 160 compared to a slate door. Oh, slate doors have way more. Okay, we're gonna go slate doors then. And then we'll do just a pass through so that way. In case we're coming from the bottom side of the base or the top side, we can still access it. And then let's go ahead and build some copies like that. Awesome. Cool. And then let's throw down. It's not a very big area, but let's throw down a little bit of growing zone for something. What, what should we stick here? We could do dandelions. Or daylily. Well, let's plant some roses. There we go. Yeah. Outdoor beauty is 14. 18 on the daylily. What about the dandelions? Four. Let's do daylily. Then aren't these only? Yeah, these these have to be replanted often. But yeah, let's go. Let's put daylilies there. Or actually, you know what? Let's. Let's shrink the zone. Can I do that? Yeah. And then, so we'll do daylilies there. Or actually, you know, no, 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 better yet, better yet. Let's go zone, zone, growing zone. Let's do a row there of daylilies. And then let's do another growing zone right next to it of roses. 
There we go. Okay. Uh, ooh, a grizzly bear. Okay. And then you are hunting you. Okay, so then let's go ahead. I want to move you inside of that room. Now, the bear shouldn't attack you as it did not see you enter. Oh, crap. Except now it's going to hunt you. Okay. Um... The problem is now the bear is going to go hunting. Yeah. Okay, we're going to have to deal with the bear. Who has... Come on, grizzly bear. There we go. Unconscious grizzly bear. Um, we can't rescue the grizzly bear. Um, I, mean, I suppose we could. Sure, let's do it. Furniture, animal sleeping spot. Let's just throw it in this room, so that way it's, you know, not near any people. Let's go ahead and rescue the grizzly bear. Okay, cool. Uh, let's make sure you're not being... How injured are you? Are you, like, dead? No, you just have some... Some injuries we, we should be able to heal. So we got the revenge. Cool. Tattered apparel. We're going to try to fix. I know we queued up a bunch of new production things from last episode. I want to try to get somebody working full-time on stone cutting, or at the very least, just crafting. Um, let's see. We only have one person on tailoring. It's Ninjack. What, what is Ninjack working on? Ninjack. Ninjack's there. Oh, Ninjack's the one doing all the moving. That's right. Okay, and then I want to reinstall this there. Where are you going? Oh, you're dismantling things. That's good. Yeah, I was going to say, make sure we bring these components back. We're, we're going to need them in storage for things. We thankfully have a nice stockpile of food. Like, I, I think we're in a very solid position. Good. We're finally getting repairs done that have just been damaged for a while. Who has a break risk? Horn. Why does Horn have a break risk? Recreation deprived. Hmm. Okay. Well, in terms of what we have, we have a poker table and a billiards table. So let's go ahead and just throw down a poker table. The billiards table, yeah, we can just do that. And then furniture-wise, let's go ahead and let's just get... Hmm... Should be fine. There we go. Yeah, I'll we'll just do that. And then, as for temperature, let's go ahead and make sure we have a heater on both ends, as well as a cooler on both ends. Because it is a fairly large space, so I do want to make sure that we are adequately heating and cooling the facility. Um, we did queue up AC in here. 67, yeah. It's being maintained. Probably could use another heater and cooler in the workshop. Honestly, though, let's... Let's just utilize the ones we're building in here as well. But the goal here is to just have kind of just a large cafeteria of sorts. Uh, do we need recreation? Requires, yes, we need tool, uh, tools. We need stools or chairs. 
A surmise, that should be fine. And then the billiards table shouldn't need them. No. Really, the billiards trains shooting. That's that's kind of funny. Go. Okay. How's power looking? Power's looking fine. Let's see. We have a consumption of sixteen hundred watts and storage is seventeen hundred. Is that in the grid? Yeah, it's the whole grid. Okay. Yeah, and then as soon as wind picks up, our three wind turbines are more than sufficient. However, as we continue to expand things, we should probably make sure that this... Oh, never mind. I uh, failed to do anything with the bear, so now the bear is... Unfortunately dead. Oops. <laughs> All right, well, let's go ahead and get the bear moved into the freezer then. Just that way it's able to be processed. We are staying on top of food and things, which is really nice. Um, let's go ahead and switch this to potatoes. Just that. Uh, because we have this large one out here. That's for rice. What's our stockpile of meds look like? 23 and then 10 regular. We do need some warm clothes. At least five colonists will lack warm clothes when the cold season comes. Yeah. Okay, so I want somebody on tailoring then, constantly. So who has our best skill for it? Four, five, three, nine, four, four. All right, so then I want you on tailoring. I'm gonna set construction to two. And handling. Handling can stay to one. And then I would also like somebody constantly making bricks if possible. Who can we have do that? Five, four. Ninjack's pretty much the also. Okay, well, we'll just have Ninjack do it for now. So he's going to finish constructing. Uh, change from two to our natural goodwill. Yeah. Okay, or neutral rather. Food binge, that's fine. We have plenty of food, not too worried. But yeah, like I said, I want this guy pretty much primarily working on that. He's gonna have unfinished dusters, but wait a ever. Right. And then let's see. I would like a second person on crafting, if at all possible. It looks like we have plenty of people on the construction side of things. Which is good. And I like to see that we're slowly getting this facility built. I do want to eventually get a school for the for the children. I think that will probably be our next major expansion of the walls. Even though I know we did just kind of finish them. While well, almost minor gaping hole in the wall. Um, I think we'll probably do an expansion this way. Just because then we can try to get access to the to this geothermal vent. I think what we might do is extend, say, the walls here. Actually, let's just plan it out with a plan. I think what we'll do is we'll extend it to, say, here. Go, like, 45 out. Do something like that. And then... I think what we'll end up doing is kind of castle things where we'll put some like defenses in the corners like this. And then kind of same down here. Just because, like, my reasoning is we could put, like, auto turrets there just to defend kind of this corner. Especially if this is where the school and things are in the event that, like, a raider attack or something happens. Although, I suppose we could put a school here. And then move the prisoners over here. I don't know. I mean, technically, I suppose you'd probably put your prisoners far away, but... I'd also want them kind of close by. 
we'll keep them there for now. Uh, ooh. Okay, we have a bunch of, bunch of quests showing up. Okay, so let's see. We have Garion Pod. Harvest and collect a Garion seed. The special seed can be used to plant the mystic Garion tree. Your colonists will connect with trees and make them spawn resources and helpful dryads to work or fight for you. I mean, I'm all for mystical tree things. Do we just harvest it? I believe we just harvest it. Uh, let's see. Needs extra hands to help set up a settlement. She's asking for you to lend her one colonist or older for seven days. So we lose a colonist for seven days. I, they're hostile. They're, no. Like, <laughs> you're basically asking for me to give you a colonist for, for a week and you hate me. You're hostile. Now, sure, it gives us goodwill, so it helps mend that relationship, but in, in all actuality, th this could just be a trap. Like, we could almost guarantee, like, lose a colonist. Now, sure, we could, I suppose, send them somebody who's not really worth it, but I'm not sending them a colonist, especially if they're hostile. Even if it will help improve those relationships. That, that's a big no on my end. The Dusty Complex. Yeah, okay. I would love to do this quest, but I just don't feel as though we have... Part of me feels like we don't have enough people to send out to safely maintain the base at its size. I mean, it's not that we don't have the people. I just don't think we have the stuff. Because, like, we only have two people who have guns. Everybody else is melee. And not saying melee is bad, but bring a knife to a gunfight. Gunfight usually, you know, wins the knife fight. And I guess unless you just have a really cracked melee person, but... Okay. You're getting clothes made. Yes. Which is good, because now... Notice we're slowly getting clothing for everybody, which is which is nice to see. Everybody's going to be wearing dusters. And like I said, we have plenty of material and things. Did we ever harvest and then bring back the pod? I don't actually know if we did or didn't. Because I thought it was down here somewhere. I actually will have no idea if we harvested it or not. So there's a bunch of berries down here. Let's see, did we actually harvest it? I don't see it anywhere. That's baby food. So quite frankly, I don't know if we harvested or not. Let's see. Quest. Active. Historical. Hmm. I don't. Let's see. If we go here. Messages. Damn, I can't jump to where it was. That's. Unfortunate. Okay. It's a boomalope. I thought it was somewhere down here, like behind a tree. Okay, well, maybe we're not going to have mystical fucking tree powers. I could have sworn if we had harvested it, it should be in here. Unless, is it that? No. You. Do you have it in on you? Let's see. No, you don't have it in you. I say in you, but like on on the person. I'm not seeing it on any of the shelves, but I suppose it might not appear anywhere. I don't see it in our inventory, so I, I honest to God, have no idea where it is. There's a ritual opportunity soon. In, uh... uh 
We could do this. Why does it say is, is best done by a colonist holding the social? Oh, we should get a speaker. Okay. How about four eyes? Let's go social. Oh, yeah, special celebration. Okay, let's well, assign the role of spiritual speaker. I already had one. Maybe not. All right, well, let's do that. Let's get a ritual to happen. Everybody is coming to the party. A couple major break risks. Yeah. Bob Lar is not looking too hot. Hey, there we go. Awesome. Okay, we have two major break risks. Why? Needs. Uh, well, we have plenty of recreation. I don't know why you're sleeping in a cold environment. To be quite frank with you. It's 40... I mean, it's warmer than... Yeah, we probably won't be able to get away with a single heater in the rooms. Because it's 70 in the room where the heater is, but the adjacent room is about 10 degrees colder. So, by the time you get down to this room over here, it's essentially the same temp as outside. So, it actually might make sense, then, for us to do like that. You can get a second temp there, and perhaps one in the middle of these five. We'll try that out and see, see kind of what it does. Um, let's see. Tattered apparel, yeah, there's still going to be a little bit of tattered apparel, but thankfully now that we have somebody who's dedicated to tailoring, we can hopefully mend some of these things. Um, why did you trade out your duster? Just because you had tattered apparel? No. The, this one's understandable. It's a 49%. Let's... Take a look at that really, really quickly. Actually, how much time? Um, we'll take a look at it next episode. Alright, so if you guys enjoyed today's episode, if you guys did, you guys know, do smash the like button. If you haven't already, consider subscribing as it really helps out the channel. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns for me, leave those down below. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one. Peace out.